In this video, we're going to briefly talk about the Gale score. Uh, you can look at the score yourself online, but I'm going to mention you the mistakes that I commonly make. And I think if we can go over those mistakes, you will be able to get all the questions right. So the first question is, there is a 25 year old female who's coming to your clinic and wants to know about her breast cancer risk. Would you be able to use the Gale score? The simple answer is no. Gale score is meant for women for the age of 35 to 85. So I commonly get this wrong. So if the woman age is less than 35, you cannot apply the Gale score. So that's the one mistake I make. Number two, the other mistakes that I make is about the history of breast uh, biopsies. So the breast biopsies cannot show ductal carcinoma in situ or lobular carcinoma in situ because it's counterintuitive. If you have breast biopsy and it showed ductal carcinoma in situ, you have a 5% risk of contralateral breast cancer. If it showed lobular carcinoma in situ, you have about 40% risk of contralateral breast cancer. So we already know the risks for these pre-malignant lesions or malignant lesions. So you do not need to calculate their Gale score. So if the patient has a breast biopsy, it should not have shown a ductal carcinoma or lobular carcinoma. If it did, then you cannot apply the Gale score. Then the other mistake that I make is, for example, this is a 35 year old woman and her mother has breast cancer and her sister has breast cancer. Well, versus, uh, this is a 35 year old woman whose um, grandmother has breast cancer, mother has breast cancer, and her sister has breast cancer, and let's say her daughter also has breast cancer. So the question in the Gale score is, do you have a family history of breast cancer? And the options are yes, no, and more than one. So even if I give you four family members versus two family members, it is only the option they can take is um, more than one. So the fact that more relatives are involved does not per se increase your risk significantly. Then the other mistake I make is that this is a 35 year old woman and her mom had breast cancer at the age of let's say 70 versus this is a 35 year old woman who's had a family history that her mom had breast cancer at the age of 30, so at a much younger age. So the Gale score for them would be the same because the Gale score doesn't say or have any parameter for it. It is a yes or no question. Do you have a family history of breast cancer? Did your mom have breast cancer? And the answer for both these patients is yes. So don't fall in the trap that just because I gave your mother who had a family to breast cancer at the age of 40 versus the other one who had the age of 60 th that I'm trying to trick you is just the simple answer is for both the the answer is yes because the question is not did they have it at a particular age the question for the game model is do you have a family history yes no, and if yes, was it more than one? That's all the options you have for the Gale score. Then the other thing is if you have a history of BRCA1 or BRCA2, again, I cannot use your uh, Gale score because again, I already know your breast cancer risk, so I do not need to calculate your score. So I repeat the mistakes that I make. Number one, remember the age of the woman has to be 35 to 85. Remember, it is how many women, first degree relatives, that would be mother, sister, and daughter, had breast cancer. It is none of their age. Their age was not a part of the criteria. And then breast biopsy history, but remember, it should not say ductal carcinoma inside or lobular carcinoma. And then, of course, if they have a history of BRCA, because for ductal carcinoma, lobal, lobular carcinoma inside or BRCA, we already know the risk of malignancy, so we don't need to calculate it. I hope this made it a little simpler. Thank you.